morning again. Today is Friday, May 8th. We made it through the week and you probably had so much fun exploring and learning about all the different shapes and colors. Today we have another activity planned for you to explore with your child. We have a bin with water and little plastic shapes in there. You can talk about the shapes like a square, a star, and then I have a circle. And those shapes are hollow. That means you can take them and scoot the water and pull it back out. If this is too messy to do it on the floor or on the high chair tray, you can move the whole thing into the bathroom Set your child in the bathtub and have your child explore the shapes in the bathtub. Then we have another activity we explore with Legos today. We have also different shapes, different colors. For example, here we have a red rectangle, a green rectangle, a yellow rectangle. And then I have a couple more, this rectangle is higher than the other one. And then I have squares. You can practice stacking the smaller blocks on the bigger square. You can stack another rectangle on top of it or just whatever, however you want to stack it on. Or make like little stairs and then we push it over again. Then we continue with our shapes. I have different sizes, different shape cookie cutters here. For example, I have a circle. You can trace the circle with your finger. Then I have a flower, what's a really cool shape. And I have a star. You also can talk about the colors, for example, like green and blue and yellow. Or you can ask your child, what else is yellow? Doesn't it look like the sun? Is the sun out today? You can look outside the window. Or if you explore the shapes outside, then you can look up to the sky and how bright it is. Then to finish up Friday, we have a very fun activity today. We use our cutout shapes from earlier, from this week. Again, all the shapes like a square, a star, a rectangle, a heart, a diamond, and a heart, a triangle, a circle, and an oval. We can use our tape again and tape it on the floor, or even better, if you have the game, called twister at home, lay it on the floor and just try to spread out on it, like explore the shapes on it, ask your child or do it with your child. You can ask like, can you touch the circle on it or can you touch the star on it or the oval. This is a great activity for the motor skills and also movement and hand-eye coordination. So this was all for this week and I hope you have a great weekend. I see you again next week. Bye.